Okay, problem 10 of the FEP hydraulics homework for chapter 4 asks us to use the best hydraulic section procedure to select a width B and a depth Y for an open channel lined with troweled concrete designed to handle a flow of 180 cubic feet per second. Ground slope is 2% and side slopes are 1 to 1. And we'll also calculate the velocity for this section. So first thing you need to know for best hydraulic section is that we're going to use these two formulas to find the depth and the base width, um, and they're based on these this variable CM and K. So we have a table in your handout for the variable CM and K, and you'll see they're just dependent on your side slope, okay, on your horizontal slope here. So here it is. So we have that one to one. So our CM value is going to be 0 0.817, and our K is 0 0.828. So those are the values that we're going to need for this uh, M value. Our CM is equal to 0.0817 and K is equal to 0.828. All right, so now that we've figured that out, we can go ahead and find the Y because Y is equal to CM times the quantity of Q times the Manning's N divided by the square root of S all to the 3 eighths. Now we weren't given a Manning's N, but we do have a table uh, that we can refer back to, table 4.1, and this is troweled concrete. So when we look at our concrete line channel that's troweled, our Manning's N is 0 0.013. So let's go ahead and write that up at the top here. So now we'll substitute our values in. We knew our CM 0 0.0817. And then the quantity here is that Q, which is 180, given to us in the problem statement, the N 0 0.013, all divided by the square root of slope, which is given to us as 2%. We'll put that in decimal form, 0 0.02. And then we take that whole quantity to the 3 eighths. Um, and so what we get there at the end is Y is equal to 2.34 feet. Once we know Y, we can figure out B because from our formula sheet, B is just equal to that factor K times Y. And in this case, K was 0 0.828 and my Y again, 2.34 feet. So that leaves me with a K, I mean a B of 1.94 feet. And once we know B and Y, we can find the area. Okay, so we know for an area of a trapezoid, it's going to be that base times the depth plus that side slope, horizontal component of the slope, uh, times y squared. So in this case, we have 1.94 feet times the 2.34 feet plus, and then m, we remember, is 1 in this case, and then 2.34 feet squared. And when we do all that math, we find out that that area is just a little bit over 2, 10.02 feet squared, but I'm just going to go ahead and use 10 for the purposes of this problem. And so once I know that that's 10, I can solve for that velocity because velocity is just going to be flow rate divided by area, Q over A. So I have 180 cubic feet per second divided by 10 square feet, and that is equal to uh, 18 feet per second. So that's our final velocity and final depth and channel width.